Hey, what's going on guys? Tango Bravo here, and we are back in Astro Near. Now, if you don't know what this game is, I can't really say I blame you. It came out about uh, a week ago now, back on the 15th of December. And I played this game while uh, I wasn't recording yesterday, and found out some interesting stuff. So it definitely will not be as boring as the first episode. So what we need to do today, after I finish this right here, is we need to go find a cave because that smelter is what makes this copper and this iron. We definitely need to build a printer. So we're going to go off in a direction. I also found out what the tethers do. They hook up to the base and let you go in a direction. So now we can go further without running out of oxygen. So we're going to place these off in this direction. We're going to go until we find a cave. There's some resin. Looks like we've already been over this way. Probably not past it though. Yeah, there's actually a lot of interesting stuff in this game that I wasn't able to show you guys because I didn't know what was there. Especially the fact that caves exist. It looks like there might be one off in this dir- Wow, nice. There might be one off in this direction. And there's actually uh, hostile creatures in this game. Oh wow, I ran out of a- uh... Alright, no big deal. Well, not hostile creatures, but there's hostile plants in this game. There's a- uh some mushrooms and these uh, little gaseous blob things that will blow gas in your direction that can be found inside caves. But basically the entire point of this video today is going to be finding a uh, finding a cave and building up the base. Which shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully we can get there soon. Build some tethers. Build two of them just in case it takes us a while to find a cave. In the save file that I will not be recording, I was actually able to find a bunch of stuff. And look at that, we found a cave. And now we're going into the cave. Also found out these little blue flower things are oxygen pellets, and the red, the yellow flower things are uh, what are they? Power pellets. Don't fall down. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pull out our tool to get down there. We're going to hold the control key, and that smooths out terrain, so we can build a nice little bridge down there. Now we have access down into this cave. Go back, plop down a node, and that right there is what we're looking for. I mean, not the best of what we're looking for. What this is, is, uh, let me get up close to it, laterite, and it produces aluminum ore. So we're going to mine some of that, because a vehicle bay requires two pieces of, uh, two pieces of aluminum. And if you can see down there that those things right there are the poisonous creatures, I mean the poisonous plants, I haven't figured out how to get past them yet, so we're not going to try and go that way. Oh wow, there's some right there too. But what we're looking for is a, uh, looks basically the same as these guys, the laterite, but they're uh, yellowish. So we're going to keep going this way. Because that's what we're going after, because that's what we're going to use to build our smelter. I have no luck with these things. Come on. Okay, so that's what we're looking for over there. But these things are in the way, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get around them this way.
But these cave systems are absolutely awesome. Like, it's... It kind of reminds me of a... Uh, actually, you know what? It doesn't remind me of anything. Okay, so it doesn't look like they uh, connect. But there is some ore over there that we're going to go after anyways. So that's good for us. That's good for us. Yeah, these right here are the... Uh, Kind of like the research pods we found in the last episode, if you watched that. And they give you basically the same thing. And those resource pods can actually give you uh, minerals and stuff like that. Everything from copper to aluminum to coal. Alright, my T key's not working. Let's see if we can't fix that. Oh, that's why. Ran out of tethers. Okay, so... Pretty sure that tether there is close enough to get to this. It's called a uh, melashite. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. And these things are actually pretty difficult to dig. Because like as you can see, that one looks completely uh completely dug out, but we out. Yeah, that is completely dug out. Okay, there you go. You have to dig weird spots to get these things. We ran out of power, so we're going to wait for that to recharge, because we still need a little bit more of this stuff. Yeah, later on, once we find some lithium, we're going to be building batteries for our guy, so we can explore these caves. Because you do find some really interesting stuff down in these cave systems. So we got this to research, and this is probably going to give us another base part or another vehicle or something. But first, since we're going back anyways, let's just uh, get some more of this aluminum. Get there. Okay, so we're going to drop some power off. Charge up our research station. Research this. Oh, we need to save that. What we get? Alright, we got the trade platform. That's awesome. So what that is, is it sends a, a little robot up into space once you put enough stuff on it to trade for certain items, like rare minerals. Right, so we're going to get two aluminum, two copper. We're going to build that up. We're going to take our copper with us because we don't need the aluminum just yet. We're going to go over here. I'm going to click on these and build ourselves a printer. Now, if you're wondering why it's important to have this printer, oh, I have to power it. And it's because you have to power stuff until you can build uh, stuff from this printer, like this uh, solar panel, which we're about to go find some compound to build. I'm pretty sure we might have one, but we don't have two. Now, I saw some compound over here. We're actually going to go for a lot of this stuff. Yeah, it gets really annoying if you don't have, like, a battery at night because you run out of power so quickly but it looks like we just recharged ourselves off of our uh, base and the solar panel is created and what this is going to do is going to uh, charge the base whenever the sun comes up so we don't have to use these power blocks anymore to uh, build things basically which I'm going to grab this power I'm going to put it here to charge back up our okay so it doesn't want to charge looks like we actually are going to have to wait until daytime which really sucks it really does I hate sitting around at night but this gives us a perfect opportunity to go get some resin Because that is needed to expand our base. Oh. 
and no power. All right. How much resin did I get? Only one. Okay, so we have enough power to maybe get some more if it's there. Nope. We actually need two resin. Where's my thing? Oh, there it is. So we're just gonna head back in this. All right. Yeah, he's just as confused as I am, believe it or not. So we're gonna head back in this direction in search of more resin. And look at that, we found some. Yeah, the thing that's really interesting is you kind of need to, uh, it never seems like there's much resources around your base until you start moving out in one given direction for a couple minutes. Which is why we're going to actually be trying to uh, get a vehicle today as well. Click. Oh, that's right. I'll just set you right there for now. Build off in this direction. So yeah, we need one more resin. I love it. This whole video is just going to be running back and forth, guys. Sit tight. Because the vehicles, although really hard to control, come in a lot of... have a lot of good uses. Definitely make for a more fun game. Because when you start out, you're just running around like this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Don't want that. So we're going to sprint off this way and hopefully find something. I know I should be using my tethers, but I don't want to run all the way out here just to not find anything and having wasted the tethers. Like, you could pick them back up, but just a little bit too much work for me. Besides, we didn't run that far away. Well, this sun's taking forever to come up. Alright, so we're going to put our resin down. And bing bang boom, we have another station. Which we're going to use for our vehicle bay and our two pieces of aluminum we built earlier. And bam, vehicle bay. So surprisingly, once you figure out what you're doing, you're not going to be working as hard to uh, build a base. I know it took me about an hour and a half last night just to get this little bit right here, trying to figure out how to get it to work. And the sun's rising, I want you guys to see the solar panel in action. And the solar panel is opening and now the whole base is being charged almost one thing is being charged I love it once we get some more power we'll build another uh, solar panel and place it right here everything's getting charged yes I have the power! Alright, that was too much. I apologize. Well, oh, this is taking so long. Okay, so while it's charging up... I'm scratching my head again. While it's charging up, um... You can see the first vehicle you get to build, and the well, there's two vehicles unlocked from the start that you can uh, unlock with more of those research pods, which are found and are actually in the trees, too. You can build a rover, which takes four compound, and a shuttle, which takes four compounds. Now, a shuttle, once you find a rocket fuel for it, or you build a fuel condenser, lets you uh, fly to other parts of the planet and to other planets in space. But we're not going to try and get to that in this video. Wow, is this still needing to charge? Maybe if I move this here. Get rid of the power. 
Okay, our uh, printer won't charge. Here's an idea. There we go. Ah. Alright. Okay, a little 360 with a camera there. Alright, now we're gonna take our other solar panel and place it there. It's charging up, we don't need that anymore. Look at that. What are you doing? Go back there. Okay, so now we're going to go get our compound. Is over here, which you're actually going to be using tethers to get to this. There's actually, some right there, too. And our tethers aren't lighting up. Maybe it's just this node. So, what if I connect one from here? Yeah, because that's lighting up. So I think it might just be that node. That's odd. So yeah, we're probably going to have to keep a solar panel on that node at all times just to keep it charged. Alright. We actually need a lot of this stuff. So once we mine this one out, we're going to go for the other one. Oh, there's a storm. I actually also hate these things too because they take away from what you're doing. Oh, that one's coming right for us too. So yeah, if you remember last video, those blocks that were taking me out, that's the culprit. And these things will come once every two or three days. Uh, sometimes they'll pop up and they'll just go around the outskirts of where you're at and never even come close to you. I mean, the good thing is they only last a couple seconds though, so that's not bad. I'm really glad they don't damage your station because they're going to be screwed every two days having to go around and rebuild this. like we mined everything out anyways I still can't get over how beautiful of a game this is like this game is just fantastic like whenever I said I played this off screen like I almost did not want to come back and play it today because uh I played it from like seven o'clock to three in the morning we have a lot of compound over there. Yeah, I was binge playing this game last night, and my favorite part is it's so cheap on Steam too. It's uh fifteen ninety nine. It's also on console. Like anyone can play this game, and everyone can enjoy it. The atmosphere is beautiful. The uh, art design, mainly, is uh, my favorite part about the whole thing. Like it looks childish and blocky and. It has this uh, quaint feel to it. I'm not sure if I'm using quaint correctly. Uh, I'm at a lack of words right now. Uh, there's your review for you. Uh, took my breath away. Words can't describe this. And now we're building our rover. And we don't have any power. Beautiful. 
right, so we're also going to need solar panels. Are we already out of compound? Well, that's fine. We're just going to tether off in this direction. To that next section over there. Yeah, I still don't know exactly what's up with these tethers. Because, like, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And you're kind of gambling with your life whenever you go all the way away from base. And all of a sudden the blue lines turn black on you. Alright, so we got our uh, compounds to come back and build our solar panel. We also got a little bit more just in case there's something else we need to build. But we won't be able to do that until the sun comes back up, which doesn't look like it's going to be anytime soon. place that right there for now because there's something else that needs to go on the front here. Ah! I actually need to build a, another solar panel for that uh, printer I forgot. So I'm going to wait for the sun to come up. I will be back whenever it does. Alright and there is the sun. Our stations are being powered. Except for our, oh, our vehicle base charging the uh, rover for us. That's really nice of it. Even though I don't need this charged yet. And there we go. We are going to build a seat so we can drive this monstrosity. solar panel. Now before we actually get to using this, I'm going to build another solar panel for the base. And that will complete our base building for the day. Alright, here we go. And we did it. We got our first vehicle and a nice built base, and that will do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, definitely subscribe. We're getting close to uh, 15 subscribers, which is honestly a lot for me. I hardly thought we'd even make it there, so you guys are really helping me out. I really do enjoy this. Um, let me know if you want to see a part 3 to this video, and stay tuned for the next one. Once again, this has been Tango Bravo, and have a good one.